Hello, hello, hello. I am your beloved Count Dracula. Welcome to my home. Thank you for inviting me to your home. It's a pleasure to be here. <laughs> oh, believe me, the pleasure is all mine. <laughs> so, just for safety reasons, uh, what blood type are you? AB positive? You seem like an AB positive type of guy. I'm pretty sure I'm O negative. Oh, the universal blood type. It has just the faintest taste of chicken. What? I said, let me show you your room. I hope you find the room to your liking, Mr. Harker. You know, I hope you'd stay in here at night. I'd hate to find out what would happen to you if you came roaming in the halls unaware. Okay, thanks. <laughs> For the past few weeks that I've stayed with Dracula, I've noticed he is truly odd. Not only is he abnormally pale, but he is never awake around this time of day. His ears are sharply pointed and his skin is rather cold. At dinner, I will confront him about it. I think I know what he is. I know what you are, Cam. What? I know what you are. Oh, are you afraid? No. Say it. I guess you know then. Wait, what? You know, an elf. One of the little guys who makes toys for Santa. So you think I'm an elf? Yeah. You're tall, but I don't think you should be judged for that. Alright then, Mr. Harker. I guess my secret's out. I'm going to retire to my bed. Once I had waken up the next morning, I decided to roam around the the house while Dracula was at the North Pole. The castle was enormous and it took quite an extensive amount of time to explore, but I managed to find the Count's room. I snuck inside, eager to see if he had a copy of Santa's naughty and nice list. Instead, I found the Count lying in his coffin, blood dripping down from his mouth. It was then that I realized that Dracula was a monster. It was then that I decided to run away. too funny, I just couldn't take him seriously with it. What's so great about Arthur Holmwood anyways? Well, he has a pretty nice badonka donk, if you know what I mean. So, um, where's Jonathan? I heard he was supposed to be getting back from Transylvania soon. I have no idea. I haven't seen him anywhere. <laughs> what was that? I don't know, probably just the wind or something. Stuart, I've been really worried about Lucy recently. She's been sleepwalking a lot recently, and she has two large holes in her neck that keep getting larger and larger. Not only that, but she's gone super pale. I don't know what could be wrong with her. Well, she might just have chicken pox. I don't think that's it. It could be something completely different. Well, there's not much we can do around here. I mean, I don't think it would help her too much unless she's like this guy over here. Oh. Hello, doctor. Hello, lady. Who is he? Uh, his name is Renfield. He's, he's harmless, but he's a little odd. I see he started to collect rabbits again. Uh, Renfield, what happened to your birds you had? Uh, uh, doc, um, they, they threw, they flew away. <coughs> <coughs> Why does he have to 
feathers in his hand. Anyway, I think I know someone who can possibly help us with Lucy. I was his former pupil before I came here. He's a very intelligent doctor, and I'm pretty sure he will be able to help. Oh, that sounds terrific. Who are you going to call? Ben Helsing! <laughs> oh, God! No! Van Helsing, not what? Van Halen. Oh. Something strange in your neighborhood. Who you gonna call? Call. Van Helsing. Something weird. What could it be? AIDS. Syphilis. Tuberculosis? Gonorrhea? Swine flu? Hello, I'm Dr. Abraham Van Helsing. What seems to be the problem? My fiance's been sick and we have no idea what's wrong with her. What seems to be the problem? She has increasing paleness, she's been sleepwalking, and she has two rather large holes in her neck. Hmm. Is there anyone that she could have caught the illness from? No, but there have been rather odd symptoms lately. Such as? After a... Wait. After a mysterious shipwreck that was carrying a bunch of odd empty boxes, Mr. Swales died. And my husband, after his visit from Transylvania, had been running around town screaming for the last past few days. Why is he doing this? I have no idea. He only ran into Dr. Sue and then he managed to get him to stop screaming. <laughs> is it possible that he could have brought an illness and, or an infection when he came back home? No, but he did bring this. She's supposed to be male, and he's supposed to be female. Very intriguing. It appears that Miss Westerna has been bitten by a vampire. Most likely one that Mr. Harker's visited. There's not much we can do now. She's dying. She's already dead. The only thing that we can do to prevent her from becoming a monster is to cut off her head and stick a knife through her heart. But she's so beautiful! There's not much we can do. We only have a certain amount of time before she rises from the grave. She'll drink our blood in order to obtain life force. She'll prey upon the innocent people. And worst of all, she'll become a Scientologist. Lucy will become Tom Cruise? It's fate worse than, worse than death. No, but becoming a vampire is much worse. Hurry, Seward, you hold the holy water. Morris, you stab her in the heart. Homewood, you cut her head off. Choking hazard.